and a three, and a two, and a one, and a go, go, yay, a new video, sorry, <laughs> it took me a while to start recording this because I got up a little bit late to record this, and that's when people start coming in and ringing the bell and making a noise in the kitchen, and yeah, doing all that stuff, so, yeah, I decided to ink it first and then voice over instead of voicing while I'm inking because I forgot. <laughs> I forgot. I, I, I'm going to remember that later on or maybe next video. But I guess it's easier. It's easier to transfer this over and oh my god, it's it's so it's such a hard process. Um so yes, I finally got to inking and this is the part I really don't like like I like the beginning and I like the end but the middle is the worst because it's like it's like the the bare minimum there's no details you just block it out and then you go do the details um at the end of the video this video you'll see the details after but right now I really don't like the way how it looks and <laughs> it urged me not to finish the details but I'm trying to teach myself to do all the blocking out of all the colors colors while well, the inking first and then go back and do the details but it's so hard it's like making cake and you're like eating all the cake batter <laughs> because <laughs> it's not really the same but that's what i'm thinking right now like oh, it will be better when it's finished don't worry and i'm like no the cake batter tastes good now maybe if i bake it it won't turn out right and it's, it's a thing. Um, so all of this right now is the blogging out. And I hate when I take away the details from the um, the sketching. and <laughs> Because, you know, all the details are gone. So, yeah, I'm looking for details. And even though this is a, a fast comic, I cannot avoid details. I love details. Um, I try to do blocking in ordinary inking once and I hated it. I it just I just had to. I just had to finish it up. Um I did have a topic today but I forgot but um I posted a uh what's it called? Uh <laughs> what is that thing called? I almost said a feature but it's not a feature. It's a sneak peek. Yeah, okay, a sneak peek of this and I posted that I don't know if I want to do this in color or in um, black and white, gray, and screen tone. And there was a really good comment from one that says, for online, it should be black and white, gray, comic detail kind of thing. And selling it or pre-ordering it or whatever should be all in color. And that's brilliant. I think for the online, I'll do one color and be like, that's it. If you want to get the rest of the color, you <laughs> Have to, like like anyone will like go out of their way and just buy the comedy because oh my god it's color but i guess it'll be nice for like convention um specials or something you know you can only get in color at conventions or if you buy it online but i guess it's like a free online comic at if i'm gonna post a whole thing maybe i'll just post like some of it and then the rest i'm just going to make you buy online and it won't be that much you'll be like i don't know like a comic not a manga price but a comic price which is fairly easy um under five dollars no shipping you won't have a hard copy i guess hard copy will be more because you know you have to pay for printing <laughs> and printing is not cheap especially in color so i have to decide that later on oh around here i was Watching, I watch a lot of Let's Plays. I was watching Captain Sparkle's um, Mayanite, I think, series. And every freaking video, and even in the, like, in the middle of the video, there's a commercial for Star Wars, the, um, the next, not Generation, sorry. I was going to say Generation, but I felt like saying Generation. But the next um, game for PlayStation 4. Every single time is the same commercial, and I guess it works because I'm kind of advertising it. See, <laughs> I'm kind of advertising it now, but I was so angry that it was showing every two seconds that I had to write, Remember this moment, Star Wars, every two seconds. They keep 
playing this thing and I'm tired of it but it's a really good series I had to add that and I I don't know it's like a footnote like a kind of I'll come back to this and look at it and oh my god yeah that Star Wars part so I don't know where I'm going to print this um I especially for the winter con you know just a draft or something um I guess it will be in black and white because I only have a black and white printer because colors are expensive and I usually only scan things and now I don't even scan things I just take a picture and then it goes to my photo stream on my iMac and then I take the picture from there and I can edit it in Photoshop to make it look like it's actually flat because sometimes my sketchbook is curved. It's the best thing in the world that I can just sketch something and I don't even have to finish it and I'll just take a picture and put it to Photoshop and then ink over it and fix it in the way I need it to so it will be a great perspective. Um, Now I forgot what what I was talking about. Why did I start talking about that? Um, Oh yeah, I don't know where to print this so I... I don't want to print it on ordinary um, printing paper. I want it on photo paper, I guess. Not really photo. It's just good color. And I'll have to this uh, like, because the printing companies I usually use is only, it's not paper material. So I guess I'll have to go to like Staples or something <laughs> and see what I have to do. And I. I'm looking for double-sided. And I had to think that that might not happen. I might have to... I don't want to, like, freaking glue each side. Or maybe I could, I could do that. Like, buy some cardstock and, like, glue each side on the other side. And then cut it out and then staple it together. But that's so weird. But I guess I'll have to do that. I don't want to do it. <laughs> I really don't want to do it. Um, There's another thing. Uh, what was, um, I wish I could tell you about what's going on here, but I guess images is good enough. I don't know where to put the word bubbles, and I don't know where to put in between the lines of, um, the background, but I wanted to put something pretty. I want it to be, like, magical girl, pretty, um, shiny, sparkly. But I don't want it to be too pink and girly. I want it to be like galaxy like, you know, because like kind of galaxy girls, that's not their name, but that's kind of the background on it. I want it to be galaxy magical girls. And I'm not going to go anywhere because I would go into detail if I keep going with that. But just think about that. Um, I did want to draw more of it. This was fun. And not as hard as I thought it was going to be. Um, I thought it was going to be like, well, it is kind of time consuming, but not the time consuming that, consuming, consuming that I, um, I know that will take me out of my way. Uh, I, the worst thing about drawing this all the time is you get inspiration to draw something else. And I have like something else to draw as my original character again, because I like the way how my poster came out, um, really colorful i i kind of want to do a whole colorful book of that it's just my main characters um but drawing and inking and then see how it turn out and then you get inspiration to do something else and you can't because you have a deadline and you put yourself on a deadline and you can't get to it this is this is where i am right now um uh, I decided that I should get, um, I need, I need a monitor arm for my tablet because it's so huge. And then with things that, you know, take all my time, I think I need to be more comfortable and this is making me hunch over. It's a huge tablet, so I just can't put it on my lap. I can't. It's, it, it's a standing tablet, so I'll have to get a monitor arm. So this will be easier process, and so I could do it more often. Um, I I guess mostly I'll be posting like pages on Tumblr because I guess it's easier. And on my Facebook page, which is Air of Glee, not Felicia Denell. I think Felicia Denell is my personal page, but Air of Glee is my like page. 
where people come to like your things and see updates. I post my art stuff, everything art, like cosplay and these things, you know, makeup tutorials. I post a lot of makeup tutorials, if you don't know, on my main page, which is is Air Glee, and this one's Art Glee, or Felicia Danell Art. I'm so confused. I don't know what to... I should have organized that more easy. I should have made my... Um, I should have made my artist name Felicia Danell, and my YouTube name Air of Glee, but it goes in between. Sometimes Felicia Danell is my artist name, sometimes Air of Glee is my artist name. And so when someone's like, oh, I know you from the internet, I'm like, um, which one? <laughs> is it my YouTube, or is it my art, or is it my cosplay? Which one is it? <laughs> and they're like, oh, maybe two of the three. <laughs> I... I I did that to myself. I should have organized that better. Even when you Google search my name, which I have to do to make sure my old stuff don't pop up. <laughs> uh, no, not really. I, I just make sure I'm leaving my things right. You know, this is my art. No one else is. No one else is stealing it. Oh, this is my favorite part. This is my favorite part of the inking process, which is the details. I'm going to get the details. Look how it's coming out. Oh, this is my favorite part. It's like, it's like icing on the cake. We're back to that cake thing. It's like detailing that cake and you can't eat it now because you made it so good. You just take a picture and you just stare at it for the rest of the <laughs> rest of the whole month. And then you decide to take a slice and then it's ruined. Then you take a picture of that slice because it's pretty. <laughs> um, I had to fix her eyes when I get back on Photoshop. Photoshop. This is not Photoshop. This is Manga Studio. Um, I had to get back on it because her eyes is too far apart here. But but she's still derpy. Well, she's not the derpy type. I can't tell you about this. I'm so confused. I really want to tell you about it. But at least let me finish the first draft. And then you'll see what it's about. And then I'll be like, hey, you could check it out here. And blah, blah, blah. But anyway, yeah, this is my favorite part. And we're almost finished with the video, which is good. Now I don't have to ramble on. And I could finally have a properly goodbye and whatsoever. But... Yeah, I think this is more easier to record. Um, and, geez, now you can see why this is my favorite part. Oh, my God. The thing about this favorite part is coloring it. Um, all that detail is gone, so I'll have to find a way to put that details back in. Um, so, yeah, this is the end of the video. Um, this video is 12, 13 minutes long. And I guess I'll just put something in the end, like a preview to the next video. Um, so yeah, I guess this is it. I'll see you for the coloring process or the non-coloring process, whatever it is. Um, hope to see you back here again. Bye, subscribe, follow my Facebook. Please, the like page. It's hard on my <laughs> normal page. It's really hard to keep track. Um... If you like my tutorials for face makeup, which is mostly cosplay related, go to my main channel. And my Instagram is also Air of Glee. And so is my Tumblr. My Tumblr is also Air of Glee. Air with an H-E-I-R. <laughs> and not A-I-R. Anyway, yeah, enough with that.